So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and it's finally here. We finally have the trailer that we've been waiting for, for the Tortured Path DLC 3 Zombies map. We're going to play the trailer for you guys in full, then I'm going to be back afterwards to break it down, and I'm going to be up front. I like the look of this, and I'd love to know what you guys think down below in the comment section as well. Be sure to drop it a like, and we'll be back in a few minutes. saw this coming. This new military force, a force composed entirely of the dead, is torn across the face of Europe. We are woefully outnumbered. With the help of our new allies, we must utterly destroy them. Coming down. Let's do this. No more time. We leave or we shall be crushed. So there we have it, a look at the Tortured Path, which is three zombies maps in one. It seems to start out with our characters escaping from Germany towards Spain, where we first start off in a sort of outdoor windmill area, and rather than our normal characters to start off with, we're playing as the unlockable characters that we've managed to be getting through all of the DLC maps, and that seems to be the staple crew that we start out with when we play in this map. It seems you spawn in this area of the map to start out with with and this is the first part of the map we're not too sure at this rate how exactly you make your way to the other portions of the maps but it's quite clear that there are multiple characters and multiple areas that we're going to be exploring once we're done with the windmill section we're actually going to be on a boat making our way out from europe and spain and this boat genuinely looks really awesome this area looks so cool i don't know what exactly is going on but there is a section called beneath the ice and you can see just this very eerie part of a map which definitely looks like a sort of mini boss fight area of some sorts so you've got the statue of barbarossa there and then we go back to our normal crew of characters which are on an expedition which seems to be in the antarctic we learned that from the little preview we got earlier in the week that our main characters are actually on an expedition to bring the parts of the sword to the edge of the world and as you can clearly see in the trailer, we actually create the Sword of Barbarossa. I did not expect us to be doing that within DLC 3, but the trophies kind of gave us that suggestion. But it's amazing that we saw that within the trailer itself. It looks crazy. There's a lot going on and I'm actually quite impressed. And I just hope this translates to being as cool gameplay wise as it does in this trailer. Obviously, just like with most trailers, it looks like they're giving us a little bit more than what we bargained for within the trailer as there seems to be a big, big Easter egg involving cracking and solving this weird door which is emitting uh, uber schnell energy. But once we open that thing, it leads into a whole world of terror. You can see the zombies piling in from all sorts of different corners and we have what we assume to be the boss zombie of the map. They always seem to tease us with the actual boss final boss zombie inside of all of these trailers and this area looks to be absolutely crazy tons and tons of energy we can physically see the pieces of bob ross's sword floating towards what i'm assuming recreates the actual sword physically and then we see marie use it 
and it looks absolutely deadly. You can see it's just taken down an absolute horde of zombies within one single swipe, shooting a load of electrical energy. So perhaps there is something revolving around the law of this particular area that we're in as to why there's so much energy here and why we had to specifically come to this place. But it seems the storyline is that parts of the sword are being transported from one side of Europe towards the edge of the world where our characters are. Why our characters didn't do that in the first place is something which we don't quite know at this rate, but we do get to look at the boss and just in style as we've always had with all the bosses so far this season this is a big bad brute looking zombie in the trophies it describes this massive brute boss to be called the guardian and i assume this will be translated into german which is called wakta i've probably absolutely butchered the pronunciation of that but get ready to call it the guardian or the wakta i can't fault sledgeham when it comes to the design of these zombie bosses this thing looks terrifying as they always do it seems to have some weird weird red pulses along its body along with just a crazy amount of armor because all of these big zombies have to be beefed up don't they but i'm really intrigued as to how this map is going to play out because it literally is three big adventures into one massive experience and it's so big in fact that if you preload the dlc right now and by the way this does come out in like 11 hours from now maybe even sooner than that by the time you're watching this video basically this dlc is out tuesday the 20th so make sure you're subscribing with notifications turned on so you don't miss when we're live streaming hunting for the easter egg on this map but essentially there are survival portions of these maps as well as the main map the tortured path itself some people had the timer countdown early for this dlc and it's revealed that not only do we have the tortured path but each section of these maps are going to be their own survival map so that goes to show you that these areas are big enough to be their own standard survival thing now i believe that the way that this works is that each survival survival map puts you into 10 waves of survival of each before you get moved on to the next map. And during these 10 rounds it's not just about surviving but you have a certain task that you have to complete and if you don't complete them within the allotted time then you're going to fail that and you might have to either continue playing on it until you get another challenge or there's going to be some sort of uh, negative impact from not completing it. Now also the way that these maps are set out is that they are sort of survival maps within themselves there is an option for each of these to be their own maps where you can go for as high a wave as possible but within the tortured path themselves they seem to be objective based where there is very limited ammo amounts for the weapons that you have and you have to constantly be switching around the weaponry that you're using and these wall buys that you're seeing within the trailer are lit up blue because they give you a random uh, class weapon of choice such as a random smg and you can only buy ammo a certain amount of times for that current weapon before you've got to switch it out so basically making the whole survival aspect a lot harder than what we're used to basically changing it up quite a bit now another trophy was about engineered parts and when you kill certain amounts of zombies you'll be gifted a random attachment which will drop from the zombies of your choice which will be put onto your weapon and it's a permanent addition to your weapon until you finish the game. Some of these attachments could be a 10% damage bonus and that will be across the entirety of the rest of your game so I feel as you play through each section of these maps and of course you go through you're going to be benefited with uh, more stronger equipment and of course I I believe the rounds will go from one to ten for each of the three sections before you'll get onto the next section basically there's still a lot of mystery shrouded behind it and we don't really understand exactly how this map works until we get our hands in it for ourselves but what are you thinking i'm honestly quite surprised about how much they've switched it up i believe you can play as a standard normal characters in each of these maps as well as the new characters which you're seeing within the trailer itself but of course story-wise the allied forces are crumbling under the relentless advance of the final Reich and General Rido decides to take one last dangerous gambit, transport the remaining pieces of Emperor Barbarossa's legendary sword to the edge of the world, make the sword whole again and deliver a final death to the undying and that's what we sort of see within the trailer. It looks pretty damn gnarly if I say so myself and you know 
big credit to the devs on this one because it actually looks really awesome. Believe it or not, the Sledgehammer developers are actually a bit nervous about our reception to this DLC as it's so much different than anything Zombies has put out in years. Fellow YouTubers SmartGuy316 as well as Starburst and JR Rizzo were lucky enough to be invited to record and get some early gameplay of the Zombies maps. If you want to check out their early footage before the DLC releases, I have a link down below in the description where you can check it out and see for yourself but the developers say they were super worried because it's different than what zombies has ever been done before and they're very very anxious to see what our reception is and i'm very impressed by what i've seen so far i've tried not to look at it too much because obviously i want my own surprise when i play the map myself in less than 11 hours time but it looks to be very very good to quickly round things up now that the trailers dropped and some information has been given to us by the people that attended that early event, there is two survival slash arcade styled maps, which I'm assuming is going to be the first and second parts of the tortured path available as their own standard survival maps. And then there's the one main map with our normal crew where we go through all three of the different survival aspects. Either way, I'm pretty darn excited to play this map when it drops and I will be hunting for the Easter egg at various points throughout tomorrow once it's launched it is a pretty tough one on the old time zones the dlcs normally come out at 5 a.m uk times so that's when i'm always going to be live streaming when the map launches to get my first playthroughs in but then depending on how i'm feeling i might have a little nap and then i'll be back on at a normal time of maybe midday 1 p.m 2 p.m uk time onwards and that's when we're going to be going hard playing the map for hours on end and you guys can jump in and see what's going on and of course play along as well and you know hopefully as a community we can solve this easter egg and see where the story goes because i'm genuinely intrigued on how this is going to end seeing as it sounds like it's setting up an ending already but there's still one more map after this and you know god crovey had an amazing cliffhanger when it came to us like just literally waiting for the next map to drop after that and hopefully this will have the same effect i i have high hopes and i hope that this is a great map for the community i feel like this is going to be something very fresh and exciting so thank you guys for watching if you made it all the way through to the end if you are excited let me know your thoughts drop a thumbs up if you're excited for this and like i said catch you tomorrow for the easter egg hunt so make sure you subscribe notifications turn on i'll see you guys in a bit